hello everyone so here is a demonstration of my uh, old fire propagation system implemented uh, about a couple of years ago and to now i have updated this system to use niagara data channel so this is much more efficient in terms of performance because since we are using niagara data channels there are no multiple uh, niagara systems particle systems spawned as fire propagates it's just only one system but these particles are spawned depending on where we need to show them so this is much more efficient compared to the old system and also as you can see fire is propagating along this grass so if there is no grass there will not be any fire so let me show that now here in this area we can see fire starts but it's not propagating outward into the areas where there is no grass or anything to burn um yeah and this system can propagate fire into the trees as well here uh but as for trees i'm still relying on the older system i will update this also to use with the with the data channels in an upcoming episode but yeah this is what i have updated so far so here now you can see maybe this area is burnt away now yeah so it did propagate up to some level tree is almost burning and here it's propagating over here okay so to give a quick overview on what is done here this is my fire uh, Niagara system and here we have this NDC spawn a scratch fired let me open it quickly and this is what's going on over there and the other scratch pad module is this basically they are uh, communicating between the data channel what we write into data channel and get it into the Niagara system. I have explained that process in this video, Niagara data channels quick start. Basically that's the same thing I'm doing here for fire and fire smoke particles to spawn. And also I implemented the original fire propagation system as a part of this virtual texture series I did. So here you can see there are two parts where we originally implemented how fire is propagated in the world and then here how it propagate into trees as well these trees are not static meshes they are foliage and also as always you can download the project file of this project and all other thousands of projects i have done in my channel from my patreon page i leave links to everything relevant in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comment see you in another video. Goodbye.